hamjambo mimi ni Abdul Karim karibuni uh, katika mazungumzo ya Kiswahili karibu katika darasa hili uh, katika darasa hili tutajifunza kuongea uh, hapa kuna watu wawili Yohana na Baraka watu wawi? wawili Yohana na Baraka unaongea lugha ngapi how many languages do you speak unaongea lugha ngapi lugha 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 ngapi sawa how many languages do you speak uh, i will read to you this conversation in english and swahili uh, and the second time I'll, on, i'll only read in english then i'll be expl- uh, the second time i'll only read in swahili then i'll be explaining to you uh, some of the uh, language features or grammar points in this conversation after that i will give you exercise you can write the answers in the comment section below don't forget to write and if you're new on this channel click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any lesson that i upload on this channel let's get started unaongea lugha ngapi unaongea lugha ngapi how many languages do you speak unaongea lugha ngapi mm, yohana hujambo hello si jambo hello so hujambo basically means uh, like hi or is everything okay or do you have any issue uh, the reply is si jambo i'm fine I, i don't have any issue i'm fine okay yohana unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi how many languages can you speak baraka ha huh? ne ne moja mbili tatu nne nne Yohana vizuri sana unaweza kuongea kiingereza vizuri sana unaweza kuongea kiingereza uh, vizuri sana very good unaweza kuongea kiingereza can you speak english baraka ninasikitika siwezi kuongea kiingereza ninasikitika siwezi kuongea kiingereza uh, i'm sorry i can't speak english i'm sorry i can't speak english johana sawa unajua lugha gani okay which language do you know oh, which languages do you know sawa baraka uh, kiswahili Kijerumani, Kifaransa kidogo na Kiluya. Kiswahili, Swahili language. Kijerumani, German, Kifaransa, French. Kifaransa kidogo, a little bit of French. Na Kiluya. Kiluya. Kiluya is uh, one of the Bantu languages here in Kenya. Johana Unaweza kuongea lugha hizo zote vizuri? Unaweza kuongea lugha hizo zote vizuri? Vizuri? Uh, can you speak all those language very well? Very good. So, baraka. Kijerumani changu ni kizuri sana. Nilisoma Kifaransa shuleni. Nilijifunza Kiluya kutoka kwa mama yangu. Ninaweza kuongea lakini siwezi kuandika. Sawa? Ninaweza kuongea lakini siwezi kuandika. Siwezi kuandika. Sawa? Kijerumani changu ni kizuri. My German is good. Kizuri sana. Very good. Nilisoma Kifaransa shuleni. Nilisoma. I studied. I studied French at school. Nilijifunza Kiluya kutoka kwa mama yangu. I learned Luya from my mother. Ninaweza kuongea lakini siwezi kuandika. I can speak but i can't write yohana unakumbuka kifaransa kwa kiasi gani unakumbuka kifaransa kwa kiasi gani 
how much of French do you remember? How much uh, how much of French do you remember? Uh, Baraka, ninakumbuka kwa kiasi kikubwa sana. Kikubwa. Ninaweza kusoma uh, ninaweza kusoma na kuandika ila siwezi kuongea vizuri. I I remember uh, ninakumbuka kwa kiasi kikubwa. I remember uh, quite a lot uh, but to a big extent. Ninaweza kusoma, I can read na kuandika and to write ila ba siwezi kuongea vizuri. I can't speak well. So, okay, so that's the end of the conversation. I will now read in, in Swahili uh, only so that you can see uh, how much you understood this uh, part here. Unaongea lugha ngapi? Unaongea lugha ngapi? Johanna, hujambo, hujambo, sijambo. Unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi? Unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi? Nne. Baraka says nne. Johanna, vizuri sana. Unaweza kuongea kiingereza? Baraka, ninasikitika. Siwezi kuongea kiingereza. Johanna, sawa. Unajua lugha gani? Baraka. Kiswahili, Kijerumani, Kifaransa kidogo na Kiluya. Johanna, unaweza kuongea lugha hizo zote vizuri? Unaweza kuongea lugha hizo zote zote vizuri vizuri? Baraka. Kijerumani changu ni kizuri sana. Nilisoma Kifaransa shuleni. Nilijifunza Kiluya kutoka kwa mama yangu. Ninaweza kuongea ninaweza kuongea lakini siwezi kuandika. Yohana Unakumbuka Kifaransa kwa kiasi gani? Unakumbuka Kifaransa kwa kiasi gani? Baraka, ninakumbuka kwa kiasi kikubwa. Ninaweza kusoma kwa, na kuandika ila siwezi, siwezi kuongea vizuri. Okay, so let's have an explanation of some of the grammar points and uh, words that uh, we had come across here. Uh, we have which word here? Uh, the verb kuongea. Normally, we say kuongea, but there are other words that can be used to express this, uh, to talk, to speak. You can ask, ask someone, unaongea kiswahili? Do you speak swahili? Or you can say, unasema kiswahili? Do you speak swahili? Or you can say, unazungumza kiswahili? Zungumza. From the word mazungumzo is conversation. So when you say unazungumza Swahili, just uh, we interpret it as do you speak uh, Swahili? Unazungumza Swahili? Do you speak Swahili? So someone can tell you, can ask you, unazungumza lugagani? Huyu anazungumza lugagani? Which language is he speaking? Okay. Unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi? Unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi? This uh, lugha is a language. Lugha, uh, unaweza, you can, you can. So this, unaweza kuongea lugha ngapi? How many languages can you speak? Ngapi, how many? If we have this pen, kalamu, ngapi. Kalamu ngapi, how many pens? Kalamu ngapi, moja, mbili, tatu. Kalamu tatu. Simu, uh, simu ngapi? Simu ngapi? Simu moja. Simu moja. Simu moja. Sawa? Uh, baraka? Ne? Okay. Ne is four. Vizuri sana. Vizuri sana, the phrase, uh, very good. When someone does something well, you can congratulate the person by saying, 
vizuri sana. Vizuri sana. Very good. Uh, unaweza kuongea kiingereza? Aha. Uh Ninasikitika. -huh. The word ninasikitika. Ninasikitika is a phrase that uh, is used to show maybe uh, you are not able to help someone or you're not able to answer what someone is wants, you know, what someone wants you can't answer you because of various reasons. So you can use this phrase, minasigitika. This can be uh, translated as uh, uh, just, it can be, it can imply, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry I cannot help you. Minasigitika siwezi kukusaidia. Okay. Minasigitika siwezi kukusaidia. I'm sorry I can't help you. Though the phrase doesn't mean I'm sorry, but that is the implication. Uh, because kusikitika is to become like frustrated or something, you know, kusikitika. Uh, sawa. Unajua lugha ngapi? Unajua lugha gani? Gani? Which, which one? Uh, unajua lugha gani? How many languages? Do you, uh, which languages do you know? Unajua lugha gani? Gani? Um, kiswahili, kijerumani. Kifaransa kidogo na kiluya. Uh, kifaransa kidogo. So this small letter, kifaransa kidogo. In languages, we denote uh, by the prefix ki. This is key for languages in Swahili. Every language has their own uh, way of uh, identifying other languages. Like when I was uh, learning uh, Turkish language, we used to refer to other language by adding the phrases, uh, the the marker J or Che or Cha. Now, uh, for instance, in Swahili, if I'm speaking Turkish, I'll say uh, Ben Swahili J Konishiorum. I am speaking Kiswahili. Swahili J. Swahili J. If it's English, English J. English J. If it's Arabic, Arabcha, you see? But in Swahili, we say ki, we use ki. We don't use j, we use ki. Ki Swahili, ki Ngereza, ki Jerumani, ki Faransa, ki Luya. So when you see this ki, you just know that this is a language. This is a language. But when you're speaking English, you don't need to refer to uh, so, uh, ki Swahili as ki Swahili. You can refer the way your language, refer to the language, like Swahili. You know, some people con complain, why Swahili? Let's use Kiswahili. No, it's just uh, rules of languages, you know? So, okay. Johanna, uh, unaweza kongea lugha hizo zote. Hizo zote. Hizo is those that uh, he has just mentioned. Those. Zote, all. Zote. Vizuri. Well, oh, good. Vizuri. Uh, kijerumani changu ni kizuri sana. Kijerumani changu ni kizuri sana. So this is a uh, Kiwi class. The Kiwi, but it doesn't have plural. Normally languages, we don't, they don't have plural. Kijerumani is just Kijerumani. We don't say Vijerumani. So it, it will agree with the Kiwi class in the key part only. So this we say Kijerumani changu. My German. If it's Kitabu, 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 Changu, my book, Kitabu Changu, you see? Um, Kikombe Changu, my car, Kikombe Changu. So, uh, Nikizuri Sana, Kizuri also, it agree with the KV class here. Kizuri, it means good, Kizuri. Kitabu Kizuri, a good book. Kikombe Kizuri, good car. Kiti Kizuri, a good chair. Kiti kizuri, kizuri, so kizuri. Vizuri sana, this is a condition, uh, it's a expression of very well, very good. Changu ni kizuri sana, it's very good here. Nilisoma kifaransa shuleni. Uh, so we have this shule is school, but we have the marker shuleni here. The marker ni, uh, it is a case marker. We use this marker ni to imply where something is from, where something is coming from, or where something is going to. For instance, this one says, So I studied um, France, uh, French at school. So this is at school, shuleni. 
So it can be from school, at school, to school, or, you know, shuleni. Uh, mwalimu anaenda nyumbani. Nyumba is the house. Nyumbani, to the house. To the house. Also, we use the phrase nyumbani to mean home. So mwalimu anaenda nyumbani, the chest going from uh, to home. Uh, we can see um, Roda anaenda shuleni. Roda anaenda shuleni. Roda is going to school shuleni. O Baraka anaenda hospitalini. Baraka anaenda hospitalini. Baraka is going to the hospital. The word hospital is hospitali. But when you say hospitalini, to the hospital. So don't forget this. I have explained this concept in many of my videos. Nilijifunza kiluya kutoka kwa mama yangu. Nilijifunza kiluya kutoka kwa mama yangu. I learned uh, this Luya language from my mother, from my mother. So here we have kwa. Uh, this one is also used as ni, but we use this kwa. Uh, it has other meanings as well, but in this lesson, we focus on the one that we are studying. Uh, kwa mama yangu. This kwa is, has the same function, but we don't use this kwa to mean uh, like places. We use it to denote that it's a person. So when you are coming from someone, not somewhere, from someone or from someone's place, this will be used uh, to imply that kwa. We can say, ninaenda kwa baba yangu. I'm going to my father or to my father's place. But I can't say, ninaenda kwa shule. Yeah, many people say ninaenda kwa shule, but they don't understand it's a uh, grammatical mistake. We don't say ninaenda kwa shule. Shule is not a person. If it's a person, then well, ninaenda kwa shule, or I'm going to someone known as school, or I'm going to uh, the place of school. Uh, school is a person, I know. We say ninaenda kwa baba, my father, ninaenda kwa Abdul Karim. I'm going to Abdul Karim, either to where he is or to his place. Ninaenda kwa Abdul Karim. Unatoka wapi? Unatoka wapi? Ninatoka kwa malimu. I'm coming from the teacher, where the teacher was, or I was with the teacher, so I'm coming from, from there, you know? Natoka komalim. We use that kwa to imply that. So this Baraka learned um, English from her mother. Kutoka kwa mama yake, mama yangu, okay? Inaweza kuongea lakini, siwezi kuandika. The word is lakini. Uh, lakini, but. We have two words. Ila or lakini, all mean but, ila. Ninaweza kuongea, ila siwezi kuandika. Uh, siwezi uh, kuandika, I can speak, but I can't write. Ninaweza kuongea, lakini siwezi kuandika. I can speak, but I can't write. Kuandika, lakini. So, unakumbuka kifaranza kwa kiasi gani? Kwa kiasi gani here, to what extent? To what extent? The word kiasi is extent. Unataka chai kiasi gani? Which amount or which extent of tea do you want? We uh, say kikombe kimoja. Kikombe kimoja. Unataka pesa kiasi gani? Unataka pesa kiasi gani? How much do you want? So this is like how much or to what extent? Which amount? You know? Unataka pesa kiasi gani? Sawa. Nina kumbuka kwa kiasi kikubwa. Kiasi kikubwa. Ninaweza kusoma na kuandika ila siwezi kuongea vizuri. So you can say here ila or lakini. Some people can use can mix the word lakini or ila. Some people can just stick to word ila or just lakini. But if you learn both, you will find yourself using both in conversation. Sawa? Uh, here siwezi siwezi is I can't. So we can have this uh we can have a, a, this uh, positive and negative sentences to uh, phrases to mean this siwezi. I mean, we can, uh, let me put the uh, table. Uh, show tabs, yeah, show tabs and commands. Okay, let, let me add the uh, a table. Uh, we can put this negative and positive. So we have here is Mimi, Wewe, Yeye, Sis, Sisi, Nini. 
Ani Wow, okay. Here I write umoja. Umoja means uh, not umoja really. Uh, this is positive form. Positive form. And this one is negative form. Okay. So here will be Mimi Ninaweza. I can. Mimi Ninaweza. Yakinisha is to make positive. Kukanusha is to make negative, to negate. Ninaweza, I can. Ninaweza, I can. I can, okay. Ninaweza. Ninaweza, I can. You can say, Ninaweza kucheza, I can play. Uh, ninaweza siwezi, siwezi, I cannot, siwezi, I can't. Wewe, wewe unaweza, you can do something. Unaweza kucheza, you can play. Uh, negation will be huwezi, wewe huwezi, you cannot. Okay, yeye anaweza, he or she can, yeye how is he? He or she cannot. Sisi, tunaweza, we can. Sisi, uh, hatuwezi. We cannot. We cannot. Sisi, hatuwezi. Nini, naweza, you all can. Maybe you can do something. Nini, hamwezi. Hamwezi, you cannot do something. Hamwezi. Uh, wao, wanaweza, they can. Wao, uh, hawa, wao, hawawezi. They cannot. Wao, hawawezi. They cannot. Okay. Uh, so I can just read the uh, I can just uh, read for you example in the sentences here. So here I'll make uh, this uh, just a moment here. Uh, okay, okay. Let me make them all lowercase. Okay, I can read for Mimi ninaweza kuongea kituruki. I can speak Turkish. Mimi siwezi kuongea kituruki. I can't speak Turkish. Wewe Unaweza kuongea kiswahili. You can speak swahili. Wewe huwezi kuongea kiswahili. You cannot speak swahili. Yeye anaweza ku, uh, kucheza guitar. He can play guitar. Yeye hawezi kucheza guitar. He cannot play guitar. He or she. Sisi tunaweza kuimba. We can sing. Sisi hatuwezi kuimba. We cannot sing. Nini mnaweza kuandika kijerumani. You can write German or you can write in German. Nini hamwezi kuandika kijerumani. You cannot write German. Uh, wao, wao wanaweza kuendesha gari. Wao wanaweza kuendesha gari. They can drive a car. Wao hawawezi kuendesha gari. Wao hawawezi kuendesha gari. They cannot drive a car. Hawawezi. Uh, as part of I want you to make this sentence negative. Uh, mwalimu anaweza Mwalimu anaweza uh, kuimba. Wimbo. Mwalimu anaweza kuimba wimbo. 
teacher, or the teacher can sing a song. Just in the comment section below, write the negative of this sentence. Mwalimu anaweza kuimba wimbo. I want to read your answers and I'll reply to them. Other exercises are here. J. Baraka anaongea kingereza. J. Baraka anaongea kingereza. Okay. I, I won't translate this. Just write your answer in the comment section below. Nambari ya pili. Baraka anaongea na mama yake kwa lugha gani? Baraka anaongea na mama yake. Mama yake kwa lugha gani? Tatu. J. Baraka anaongea kifaransa vizuri. J. Baraka anaongea kifaransa vizuri. It's a question. Write your answer in the comment section below and I'll be able to read through them and I'll correct you in case you made a mistake. So don't be afraid to do exercise, okay? Sawa, kwaheri, tutakutana badaye. Don't forget to subscribe on this channel so that you don't miss any lesson that I upload here, okay? Kwaheri.